Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Boufet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Italy and Bangladesh. Italian Ambassador Paolo El Madie arrived at Sakhir Palace. She was received by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented her credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Italy to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The Bangladeshi ambassador Mohammed Nazrul Islam arrived at Sakhir Palace. He was received by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Bangladesh to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. His Majesty the King exchanged with the two ambassadors welcoming speeches hailing the bilateral relations between Bahrain and their countries and the developments and growth they witness in various fields. His Majesty wished the ambassadors success in their diplomatic tasks to bolster cooperation with Bahrain. The ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of their leaders and their wishes for His Majesty of good health and happiness and for Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The ceremony was attended by the personal representative representative of His Majesty, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work in Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, the Ministry of Royal Courts, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Head of Royal Protocol.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular on the holiday of Eid al-Fitr. The kingdom's ministries and public institutions will remain closed on the day of Eid al-Fitr and the next two days. If any of the three-day Eid days coincides with the official holiday, an extra day will be given in lieu. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict Number no. 8 for the year 2020 to transfer and appoint directors at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. The edict stipulates that Rashid Abdul Latif Zayani will be transferred to the Planning, Policies and Follow Up Directorate at the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports General Secretariat to become Director of the Legal Affairs and Licensing Directorate of, at the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. The second article appoints Sheikh Noura bin Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as Director of the Projects Directorate and Abdul Karim Abdul Hamid Al Mir as Director of the Events and Programs Directorate. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also issued Edict Number no. 6 of 2020, designating the Kingdom of Spain as a foreign country in accordance with Decree Law No. 56 of 2018 regarding the provision of cloud computing services to foreign parties. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the ORHF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed the coordination and follow-up committee of the Fina Khair campaign to distribute 5 million Bahraini dinars to support Bahraini families and citizens in need and those affected by the coronavirus epidemic. On the occasion, His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa the honorary president of the foundation for his keenness to protect the safety and health of citizens and residents in the kingdom as well as his majesty's order to allocate a large budget to protect them and the national economy sheikh nasser commented commended the efforts of the government led by his royal highness the prime minister prince khalifa bin salman al khalifa and the national task force to combat the coronavirus led by his royal highness the crown prince deputy spring commander and first deputy premier prince salman bin hamad al Khalifa to mitigate the spread of the virus in the kingdom. He hailed the response shown by the citizens, residents, companies and institutions with the national campaign Fina Khair, which achieved outstanding success to support national efforts in combating the virus. For his part, the Secretary General of the RHF and Chairman of the Committee for Coordination of Efforts and Follow-up on the National Campaign Fina Khair, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, stated that upon His Highness's directives that aid will be allocated to support three groups, families in need who are registered with the RHF, productive families registered with the RHF, and the Ministry of Labour and Social Development, whose businesses have been affected by the spread of COVID-19, as well as uninsured businesses by owners registered with the Ministry of Labour and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism who hold virtual business registrations and have been affected by the spread of the coronavirus. The Moon Sighting Committee will convene on Friday morning to receive testimonies of sighting of the new moon confirming the end of the blessed month of Ramadan and the start of the month of Shawwal. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs said that anyone with information about the sighting of the moon should convey their testimony to the committee.